Hey everyone, welcome back to Ignite with Puneeth. Today, I'm going to talk about something very important and useful in the shipping and marine industry, PMS software. PMS stands for Planned Maintenance System. If you're someone who is working in the marine field, or planning to join this field, or just curious about how big ships are maintained, this video is for you. So let's get started. First, let's understand what exactly PMS means. Imagine a huge ship sailing across the ocean. It's not just floating there, it's like a floating city. There are engines, generators, pumps, air conditioners, firefighting systems, sewage systems, so many machines and systems that need to work properly every single day. Just like how you service your bike or car regularly, ships also need regular maintenance. But the number of machines on a ship is much more, and the work is more serious because if anything fails in the middle of the sea, it can become a big problem. That's why proper planning is needed. And this is where PMS software comes in. PMS, or Planned Maintenance System, is software that helps ship crew and technical teams manage and track all the maintenance activities on board a ship. It stores every single detail, what job needs to be done, when it should be done, who should do it, what spares are required, what safety measures to take, and much more. This software ensures that no important task is forgotten and everything is done at the right time. Let me explain it with a small example. Suppose we have a generator on board. The manufacturer says we should change its oil every 1000 running hours. So, PMS software will keep track of how many hours the generator has run, and when it reaches 1000 hours, it will show that the oil change job is due. It will even notify the crew. That way, we never miss the maintenance and we can keep the generator healthy and running. PMS software is also very helpful for planning. Let's say the ship will be in port next week. We can plan to do some major maintenance jobs during that time when the ship is not moving. PMS allows us to schedule these jobs in advance and make sure all the spare parts and tools are ready. So when the day comes, we can finish the job smoothly. Now, one of the most powerful features of PMS is job creation. Jobs in PMS can be based on date, like every three months, or based on running hours, like after every 500 hours of engine running. These jobs are stored inside the system with full details. Each job has a job code, title, type, category, department, manpower needed, and whether spares or risk assessments are required. Everything is clearly documented. PMS also gives you something called checklists. These are small job lists that need to be done regularly, like daily, weekly, or monthly. For example, checking the engine room temperature or fuel level. These are small tasks but very important. Instead of creating full job plans for them, we just include them in checklist jobs. It saves time and helps in daily operation. Another important thing in PMS is the concept of job status. Jobs can be marked as completed, on hold, postponed, or even failed if something goes wrong. This helps to track the progress and to know which jobs are delayed or pending. There's also something called running hours reset, which is used when you complete a running hour based job and the counter needs to go back to zero for that machine. Now you might ask, who uses this PMS software? It's mainly used by two sides. One is the vessel side, the onboard crew who do the job. The other is the shore side, like the technical office, managers, and ship owners. Shore side has admin access and they set up the one-time system configuration, like templates, job plans, and equipment details. The onboard team mainly does the job, records the completion, and updates the data. In addition to managing jobs, PMS also has an event section. This is where the crew can log any event that happens on the ship, like breakdowns, special inspections, or dry dock events. For example, if the engine failed due to overheating, you can log this event with full details in PMS. This record helps in analysis and future decisions. Talking about analysis, PMS is also great at generating reports. 
There are reports for completed jobs, jobs in progress, overdue jobs, postponed jobs, critical jobs, jobs on hold, and so on. These reports help managers and clients to understand how the ship is being maintained. It gives transparency and helps in audits. There is also a dashboard which shows trends, bug tracking, and task status for employees if the PMS is used in a broader technical support setup. This is more for IT companies or fleet managers who want to see employee activities too. Now let's talk a bit about the structure of data inside the PMS. All equipment is stored in a tree-like structure under something called SFI code. This coding system helps to organize equipment properly, like engine room a main engine a turbocharger. It makes it easy to locate and manage equipment. When it comes to creating work orders, the user selects the job, enters the details like who will do the job, when it will be done, what spare parts are needed, and commits the task. This can even be linked with bug tracking if the system is also used for software or project management. Sometimes, jobs can't be done on time, maybe because of bad weather, unavailability of spares, or crew shortage. In that case, jobs are marked as postponed. But we should always try to avoid this and maintain the ship properly to keep everything safe and smooth. PMS software can also help in safety. It shows whether the job needs a risk assessment, and it allows attaching safety documents and templates. So before doing any job, the crew can prepare properly and avoid accidents. In the PMS, there is also something called grace time. This is like a small extra time period allowed to complete the job. For example, if the job is to be done on the 10th of the month, the grace time might allow it till the 12th without marking it as overdue. This gives flexibility to the crew. Some companies also integrate PMS with inventory systems. That way, if a job requires spares, the software checks if the spares are in stock or not. If not, a request can be raised. This makes the whole process very efficient. To sum up, PMS is like the brain of the ship's maintenance. It stores all jobs, equipment, history, events, reports, and helps the ship run smoothly and safely. Without PMS, it would be very difficult to manage everything on such a large vessel. Whether you are a marine engineer, a software developer, or just someone interested in ships, understanding PMS will definitely add value to your knowledge. So that's all for today's video on PMS software. I hope you now have a clear idea of what PMS is, how it works, and why it is important. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Ignite with Puneeth. See you in the next video, stay safe and keep learning.